What in the Jesse Smollett is going on? We have an update on the one-time missing person, Carly Russell. Now she's admitting that she lied about a missing baby and about her disappearance. We have the full statement from her attorney. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So the difference between a Jussie Smollett and this Carly Russell story, at least Carly has admitted to lying. As you know, Jussie Smollett is still saying that what happened on that fateful polar vortex night in Chicago did happen. That's a whole other situation. He's just de delaying the inevitable. But there have been a lot of jokes and comparisons between Jesse Smollett's situation and the Carly Russell situation. But I wanted to really wait till we had more facts, or at least Carly Russell admitted that she lied to all of us that were praying and searching and donating for her return. So... It was just an hour ago that the Alabama Police Department released this statement through her attorney. Our friends over at CBS write this. They said, days after a woman went missing and found safely, Carly Russell has admitted she was not kidnapped, according to a police report. During a press conference Monday afternoon, Hoover Police Chief Nick Durzis read a statement from Emery Anthony, Russell's attorney, claiming that the 25-year-old woman was not abducted as she and her family had previously reported, as well as not seen a child walking on the I-459 the night she disappeared. Dur Durs has read the following statement from Russell that was provided to the Hoover Police Department from her attorney, Emery Anthony. So this is what the statement read. My client has given me permission to make the following statement on her behalf. Of course. There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 13, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have help in this incident that this was a single act done by herself. My client was not with anyone or any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. Where was she then? My client apologizes for her actions to this community, the volunteers who were searching for her, to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies, as well as to her friends and family. Do you think that her and her, her boyfriend broke up? Because you remember he posted that statement on social media. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward. And understanding that she made a mistake in this matter, Carly again asked for your forgiveness and prayers. So as you may recall, on July 13th, Russell called the police to report allegedly a missing, uh, seeing a toddler walking along the I-459 near Hoover. However, police responding to the scene found Russell's car, but not her. On July 15th, Russell was found after safely walking home. So after being found, Russell, Russell's family claimed that she had been abducted. In her statement to police, Russell alleged that she had been taken by an unidentified man while trying to find the alleged toddler along the side of the interstate. According to police, Russell claimed to have escaped while being taken in a car the next day. As you know, the last video that we did on this Carly Russell situation, the police did have an initial conversation with Carly where she brought up these allegations on what played out the day that she went missing. However, the police did say that they wanted to have a follow-up conversation with her, but at the time, her family and her attorney were not permitting it. I'm not surprised that we have this statement via her attorney because I'm sure at this point it's going to be up to the, the police department whether or not they're going to press charges for a false report, a false report about the baby and then this whole abduction situation. And a lot of people are going to have the debate now, should she be charged for the amount of tax dollars and time and, and donations that were made on her behalf when she was missing? So CBS continues, it says, despite ongoing questions in the case, including from Candace Owens, oh God, 
Um, they said despite ongoing questions in the case, Russell's family maintained that she was abducted, telling the Today Show last week that whoever took her was still out there, even though the police have since said that they believe that there's no threat to the community. Durza said the police would be meeting with Anthony, her attorney, and the charges would be announced when and if they were filed. So they have not decided this yet. No motive for Russell's false abduction report were revealed. Durzis ended the press conference by saying that Russell's admission would not alter their ongoing investigation into her whereabouts the night she claimed to have been kidnapped. So this is not over for Carly Russell. More than likely, they will decide whether or not they're going to press charges against her. Because so many eyes are on this case, I wouldn't be surprised if they do decide to charge her. As always, do you believe that they should charge her, jar, charge her for this? Well, here's the thing. She broke the law. Would they use her as a lesson to anyone else thinking about doing something like this? Look at the whole Jussie Smollett situation. The Jussie Smollett situation escalated. Jussie Smollett would not be facing what he's facing if it didn't escalate to the point where it, it escalated. If he had just not did what he did for attention. Was Carly Russell doing this for attention was she trying to do this to push her relationship in a, another direction? I don't know. There's been all kinds of speculation and rumors on why she did it. You know, the last report that we did, we talked about how at the time they said that they did not believe there was any sort of mental illness involved here. Well, look, I'm not an expert in that. I don't know what expert they've had evaluate her in this particular instance. And I know some of you are saying, well, it, does, it doesn't sound like... She, this is mental illness because of how calculated it is. Well, mental illness, it's not always just, it doesn't necessarily work like that. There are situations where it does involve mental illness and it is calculated. So I'm not going to leave this out of it, but it does take someone that is not in the right space, in a healthy mental space to do something like this. But I believe the reason why she's admitting this now via her attorney, because she could possibly face charges is because she didn't think this through. She didn't cover all of her tracks. She didn't realize what is actually out there in regards to, oh no, we know exactly where you were. Now the FBI is involved. I don't know if she could even face possible char federal charges. I don't know. I'm not an attorney. You, could, you attorneys will let me know in the, in the comment section. This is bad, but I'm glad at least, unlike Jussie Smollett, she admitted that she lied. Guys, let's continue this conversation in the comments section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.